There are thousands of pubs in London. Some new, some old, but a special few, perhaps just a handful, have been standing for hundreds of years. Through monarchs, governments, and war, these buildings have stood the test of time. So today, we're visiting them to relish in their rich history and drink in their honor. Let's go. The Lamb and Flag in Covent Garden. They say established in 1923. The front of the buildings though was renovated in the 1950s for Historic England, which is the sort of governing body of history in the England, which we're all just gonna say we trust, says the rest of the building. The rest of the building is 1688. <laughs> and of course, we're running with the umbrella because it's England and it rains all the time. Whoa, this looks so really old, but that's actually the 50s. Oh, really? Yeah. The front of this building is 1950s. The inside, though, is 1688. Lamb and flag. Huh? Lamb and flag. Lamb and flag. <laughs> should, we, should we go get our lips wet? Yeah, yeah let's, go, fucked up. let's go have a little pint. Let's go get a young pint. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> I usually get to Vibey. We're currently on our way to Drury Lane, which is where the Muffin Man lives. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, here we are. Drury Lane, the white heart <laughs> of everything on the list. This is supposed to be the oldest because they say 1216. That's so old. That's so old. But the only thing is they say it actually was rebuilt in 1912 on a different site. So 100 and, 109 years ago, it was so old. And now it's 109 years old on this site. But it, they say it's the oldest licensed pub. It's still pretty old. Bro. It's old. Older than... Older than David Attenborough for sure. Just. Just. Here we go, the oldest. The oldest licensed premises in London. And it's fully air conditioned. The air conditioning, fun fact, actually came in in uh, 1840. <laughs> There's a fan in you. <laughs> it's nice. Massive At hands. Drury Lane. What? <laughs> so, the review of this place, you know, it's quite roomly in here, but um, the, 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 the interior definitely had a lot of refurb. Yeah, this doesn't look old at all. Look, this is my favourite part of the pub, the little dog, the little dog with the musket, dog with the musket, dog with the musket, dog with the musket, dog with the musket. It definitely doesn't look old. It, no, these lights, these, are, these lights are a nice, a nice touch up here. Um, and the exposed brick, I suppose that's pretty chic. It's pretty chic. But if we're talking about just general, um, do I feel like I'm in a really old place? No, I don't. Well, there you have it. The pub that says it's the oldest on the list. 12, but it's 12, 19. But it's fucking not. It's not really. It's not really that old. It's a green man. You liar. You're a liar. A marketing technique. It feels like a fucking weather spoons. Yes. City of York. They say 1430. Still old. But it was entirely rebuilt in the 1920s. Even though it was rebuilt, it is on the same site. It is on the same site. So you can imagine that there were people here a long time ago walking around, doing their thing riding horses and then going into this place going into this place and having a couple of brewskis and by the way city is spelled c-i-t-t-i-e spelled old that's how they spelled it oldly come on bill let's <laughs> go oh don't be back in <laughs> light bites old cream and tomato soup yeah that's a big difference from when they were having boiled pig <laughs> Ooh. 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 Okay, now this, now looks, this old. looks old. We're getting into the good shit. Uh, oh, 
okay, this is lit. This is actually lit. Cheers to you. These are booths, they have booths here. And it's pretty cool. This so far, I think you'll agree with me, Bill, is the best pub yet. Yeah, I think like, it's in the terms of like looking. It fe it feels old in here. It feels like people would come in here with mud on their boots from the <laughs> gravel and shit on the streets of London. <laughs> and we move thus on to the seven stars. What great, great history. Come along. Come along. We're going for our point five pint. Wait, so this is one of the oldest pubs. So how old is this pub, it's, bro? It's, it's telling us. It's telling us that it's sixteen oh two. What I find sixteen oh two. Sixteen oh two. But historians say it can't be older than the sixteen eighties. By a war. However, we are starting to get pretty old. It's starting to get pretty old now. Do you know what I always find with older buildings? I'm, I'm only. So I'm only six foot two. And the weather's gotten better. It has got a lot better. I'm only six foot two. Yeah. If the doorway is low, for me, that's a sign to me that a building's on. And me being 4'8", obviously it's quite easy. <laughs> In fact, it's all built for you, really. Yeah. Being 4'8". No, I'm actually 5'11". I am. <laughs> no, no, I actually am. No, like, like make me. Cheers, bro. So the seven stars. It's incredible, actually, because some of the old woods and stuff, maybe. They're bowed, they're bowed ceiling. Yeah, you can see that they're not quite low. Yeah. And that makes me think. Yeah, uh, to review that place, like, I mean, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a really nice place. The street we're on is quiet. Yeah. It's a bit out of the hustle and bustle. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we're definitely a little bit more drunk than this. <laughs> A lot of people say ye old. The pub we're going to is ye old uh, Cheshire cheese. However, ye, it's not actually when it's Y E, it's not actually ye, it's actually the. Because Y in old, old English, the letter actually meant T H. And obviously things have changed now. Y is a year sound. But whenever you in the future see something that says ye old, it's actually just the old. Burn it. <laughs> St. Paul's in the back. And in the front, me. And in the middle, the old Cheshire cheese. This place was rebuilt in 1667, which was a year after the Great Fire of London. Mm. So this is the first, this is the first one. It's old as fuck. This is the first one where it's like genuinely no one's saying it's not that old. Like this thing has been here since 1667. This is all the kings that have reigned since this pub was built. James II, don't know what that is. William III and Mary II. Queen Anne, Prince George I, George II, George III, George IV, William I, Victoria, Edward VII, George V, oh. Edward VIII, George VI, and Elizabeth II. They're gonna have to add more plaque. They, they're running out of plaque. Let's go, let's have a... Let's have a, let's have some drinks in here. <laughs> honestly, walking in, it honestly, it did feel a little bit like we're walking onto like a film set for a, a yeah. period drama. Yeah. And the best thing is, I don't think it's claiming to be old. It doesn't feel like it, you know, like it's not trying to, they painted the walls and shit. It doesn't feel like it's. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I'd, I'd even go as far as to say they wanted to modernize it and realize that a few modern fixtures in here still don't do enough shit, because yeah. it's just the floors, the woods. I mean, obviously, if they really wanted to, they could gut the whole place. But honestly and truly, yeah, I can feel the history in here. Do you even smell a bit old? Yeah, yeah, it's not like the wood. I don't know if it's what they're using in here to keep the aesthetic up, but it's, I, it's like you it's can old. still smell a little bit of horseshit. <laughs> yeah, like, are you tiny? You're crouching like a shitting dog. Look, even here, look, look at this. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Old. This is when the Scandinavians just moved in to England. Ye olde toilets. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are 1919, we were saying, you know. Look quite well to do, I think. Oh, check this out. This is there. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's incredible. Oh my god! And look at that. He's that, that painting. Yeah. With the guy standing next to a table, 1919. 
Oh. And there it is. So nothing's changed. Gentlemen only served in this bar. No. <laughs> now that's old. And on that note, we go on to the next one. I actually can't believe it. That's how old it is. Gentlemen only served <laughs> in this bar. Don't even let the girls in. That's mad. Girls are the best part. So I've just realized the pub crawl we've just done has been doable for 250 years, Holy at least. Shit. You could have done this same pub crawl 250 years ago. That's fucking mental, actually. And you'll be able to do it for 250 years more. Hopefully. Yep. If there's not the blitz number two. <laughs> A ye olde sign. Anyway, we're here, baby, at the old mitre. This is the second last on the list. It's old, it is old. They have an alleyway, it already seems old. Are you ready? Oof, yeah, it hurts. <laughs> this is old. Oh, this is my favorite so far, I think. Yeah, this is a vibe. This is my favorite, bro. That light was installed in 1741. <laughs> <laughs> to the old miter, mate. Oh, that, that front bit where we were in was in the was made in the 1700s, and that what used to be the garden of the pub here. Mm. That was. 1546 the pub back here used to be a lodging so you'd have like the pub downstairs but then there'd be rooms upstairs and which queen would she say queen victoria i think earlier than that uh, yeah maybe i don't know what we were basically we'll there, was the a, there was a queen that used to come here and meet what was his name christopher hatton yes i think so yeah christopher hatton who was just some i don't i don't know some look it up some cool <laughs> some cool geezer in london and they yeah. used to hang out here and the tree, we'll get some more shots of that. The tree was, they used to do the May, maypole, May, dancing. maypole dancing. So yeah. that's when you put a, a little like thing on a, you tie ribbons to it and you, and you run around the tree and they were like, oh, it's a really nice tree. Let's not knock it yeah, down. A bit of a tradition, didn't it? Yeah, so they kept the tree. But this is the old part of the bar here. This is the old, this is cute. I feel like a lot of the architects are ye closet. <laughs> the closet. So what, that, that would be where they kept their jackets and things like that? Boss, yeah, probably. Also, cool to just see that people are drinking in here. Like, it's just normal. They're all just chilling. No one even, no one's even thinking about Keep, it. Really. Keeping it all alive. Like, at the end of the day, it's just still a pub doing its thing, you know? Just a pub. Yeah. Public house. But old, 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 old. Ah. So alas, <laughs> we go on to public house numero seven. <laughs> the George Inn in Southwark. If you're not from the UK, you're gonna be like, how do you spell Southwark? Oh my God. And it's actually Even spelled like saying South Wark. <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid way of speaking. <laughs> but that's what the old English did. So it's S-O-U-T-H-W-A-R-K. So I don't think it was actually, it looks as cool as the old mitre. However, it was mentioned by John Stowe, who was a famous British historian, and he he did a lot of he wrote a lot about history, but he's from history as well. <laughs> he has been dead for so long. Um, okay. but he he mentioned this pub in a book in 1598. 1598. Ye olde Sainsbury. Ye olde nuts. <laughs> Here we are, the last pub. This place is called the George Inn. Established in 1542, as it says on the lid, but um, it was rebuilt in 1676. That's 10 years after the GBF, Great Fire of London, GFL. Fucking hell. <laughs> this is the one place, this is the one place that's legitimately like, it is we old. Can guarantee it. And it's also the only remaining pub in London, and maybe the world, to have a gallery. Wow. That up there is the gallery. Oh, shit. You don't see that anymore. I didn't even notice that the last time I came here. Yeah, it, inside it has some authentic 18th century features oh. and um, it's grade one listed. What you'll find interesting about this pub is it's also the biggest, right? Out of all of them we've been to, yeah, this one massive. feels like it's actually huge. Couldn't I mean, you go onto that picture and you can see that's, the, that's what this place used to look like. Wow. There's the bridge and obviously now it's so oh, modern. Shit. But back then it was more like fucking like fields and shit. Though. Anyway, cheers lad. Cheers lad, what a fucking, what a great tour. What a great tour. Um, but I think that really encapsulates London to be honest. The extremely old and something that was finished very much into our lifetimes. 
to compare it with the others, way bigger. Um, it's, it's, it's way bigger. It's around, it's obviously very busy. It's the busiest by far. To London, I guess. To London and to its old pubs. Thank you.